hi guys so welcome back so guys in this video i'm going to show you that how we we can create a include collection okay so what we can do we can use this collection and add multiple collection in this include so what we can achieve with this uh, include collection so for example if you have a different different environment or like a department like HR, marketing, sales, or IT, right? And you have already defined a group, or oh, sorry, security group, and created a, a groups for different managers, or you can say executive or managers and um, VIP user or something like that. So now your management uh, uh, want to implement some kind of uh, application and uh, security for specific devices or. Uh, users okay so for example uh, your management want to implement this policy on all the manager in your organization so they can put some kind of uh, security or uh, application on all those devices okay so maybe this lecture will be long because i want to show you that the real time scenario so hope you can be like this video okay so first I'm going to create some uh, user in AD so I'll show you that how this work so so in AD um, we have two users one is a admin or another one is a normal user so i'm going to quickly create one user hr manager okay so i'll enter the you can put dot underscore as per your requirement so i'm not going to change password at next logo So now user greater just right click on user property organization and job title i'm going to mention a manager okay so apply then okay that's all about in the ad side so now i'm going to show you that how we can implement that include collection so so first you need to log on to your uh, ICCM server open a uh, system center configuration manager asset and compliance then device collection okay so now I'm going to create a new collection so I'm going to make it a uh, you can say mem or mem underscore ma manager So this is a uh, intent part. So we'll talk later. So company wants to implement some kind of MAM policy for all the manager. Okay, so I'm going to name it as a MAM manager. So from here I can choose all this is all the system. Okay, so now from here I have already selected all the system. Then click next. Uh, we can use incremental uh, update for this collection but we'll take uh, we'll talk later about this so from add rule we need to choose a include collection okay so now if you have a multiple collection in your environment as i uh, said you that uh, maybe you have a hr collection you have a uh, sales device collection you have a uh, marketing device collection so you can select all those uh, collection okay for example i'm going to select uh, all unknown user and stp client okay and then click okay so now you can see the membership rule we have a two collection and uh, 
from here we can also add some uh, another rule but uh, we'll talk later about that so from here you can also change the schedule as per your requirement okay so when you click next next and close so guys you can see that now we have a mem user collection and if you click f5 you can see that we have it so we have a seven count as a member count so now you i think you will be confused that why i created that uh, hr manager user and uh, uh, i put a hr manager and uh, organ uh, departmental manager okay so in next video i'll show you that where we can use that specific tag okay so thanks for watching this video have a nice day bye bye